and welcome to this demonstration of the advanced voice calling solution pack for Actix Analyzer. In this demonstration I'm going to go and highlight to you uh, some of the new capabilities the solution pack has with regards to doing device to device analysis. As you can see here in the screen in front of you that we've got two devices that we've loaded, device A and device B. If we open up these devices we can go and investigate some of the voice calling characteristics. So here we can see that we've got for device A uh, successful call setups um, that, that have been done. And if we then also open up on device B and look at, all, at the all technology voices we also see successful call setups. Now by merging these two devices using our multi-stream capability we are actually going to get a slightly different picture. Um, now what the multi-stream capability does, it actually uses its advanced event detection to correlate the mobile A call with the mobile B and so we get a complete picture from, mo from mobile A straight to mobile B. And we can see here that we've got a number of um, call setup failures. Now we've got a call flow viewer here and we've also got some protocol stack browsers on each of the devices that uh, you know allow us to to investigate this problem. Now by moving the call flow viewer aside for a bit uh, we can show these particular events on the table and we can just go and for example select the call attempt MO and we can see a successful CM service request going from UE1 which is the MO call and we can see the call successfully establishing and building itself up. On the MT side we also, if I just scroll down slightly, see the invite message as we can see that the, the SIP invites happened and, um, and then we can go and navigate all the way through to a successful call setup OK. So this was an example of the call flow of a successful call. However, down here we can see uh, some calls that didn't, didn't go successfully. If I click on this one down here, we can see that Mobile A, in this case, established its call with a CM service request message. And as we scroll down, we can see that um, that on the UE2 side it actually just did a tracking area update but it never actually received a, uh, a paging message or any kind of uh, an invite message for it to, to establish the call. So therefore our event detection has therefore classed this as a device to device voice event call setup fail and in actual fact we know that if, the, if, if we never were able to establish communication with the, the MT device then the, the call is then routed to voicemail. This indicates that there is a problem within the call network about routing the call through. We can also run a report. So we've got a device-to-device um, a, a -device voice call report and if I just open that up we can see a nice summary view here where we can see the uh, mobile originating call access rate and then you can see on the terminating side that we've only got 66% success and then for the device to device we then we then classify that success rate as 66% because although if you look at the success rate individually on the mobiles one was fully successful and the other one was not the end to end experience was in fact limited to, to 66 percent. And so from down here you can also see the signaling flow that we evaluate the device to device KPIs over. The tag here also shows us about the call failure details so we provide some information like the signal strength on each of the different technology modes that you may have been on um, and then we can see here that we had failures on the MT side. Also, we show some details around the RTP statistics, showing there was some inter-packet delay variation on the on the MT side as well, which may have uh, caused some minor degradation in voice quality. We have some packet loss as well, meaning that there were probably some audio gaps as well within that call, um, and then also some indication on what the jitter was like. And finally, delay gaps ratio about the, the percentage of the, um, of the, the, 
the audio gaps versus success versus the successful total uh, speech time. And then finally, we've also got the device device voice call quality. Uh, so we've got the Polk and Moss scores here, where we're comparing the two devices. And you can see here that the call quality wasn't wasn't great in this case. Okay, so I hope this gave you a little insight into our um, advanced voice calling analysis solution pack. Um, it was a pleasure presenting this to you, and uh, we hope to hear from you soon. Many thanks. Bye bye.